First thing what you want to do, you just want to make your GUI how you do this. If you don't know, you go start a GUI down here in the bottom right and add the screen GUI. Just call this like walk speed upgrade, walk speed up, wait, no space by the way, upgrade. In this walk speed upgrade script, just add in a frame and in this frame, make this look nice. In the GUI, make sure to also add a button where you can buy and a button which shows your walk speed. So this is going to be the buy and it's also going to show the price or you can make it differently. I'm just doing this and this will also show the price and then also add a and then also in the buy also add a number value. This is going to be the actual price so we can multiply it and stuff like that. Also add a text label and this text label will just show the walk speed nothing else okay after you've done this all you want to do you want to go into this buy script you want to make a local script and then go into server script service and make a script and here we're just going to make the leader stats so we can actually buy the thing with cash how we do this we're going to do game dot players dot players added connect function and in here we're just going to do player space and then you want to do local leader stats equals instance dot new folder go down here leader stats dot name equals leader stats and then leader stats dot parents equals player now go down and do local cash or whatever currency you want to add equals instance dot new integer value because since it's a number where we make an integer value since the cash is going to be a number and now we do leader stats no cash dot name we give it a name of cash with a capital or however you want it to look to make it look nice add it a capital and then do cash dot parent equals leader stats now if you go into the game you should have leader stats in the top right of the screen meaning you have cash and you can give yourself cash in the top right corner you see i have cash now and that's what this script does so we can get out of here and now you go into this local script down into here and buy and then local script and you want to just make a variable for a label or the current which is going to be the walk speed or the label for the walk walk speed so i'm going to do script dot parent dot current and this basically just finds this text label so we can refer to it later now we do local player equals game dot players dot local player because we have to refer to the player somehow do local price equals we need to refer to this bit value right here so how we do this we do script dot parent dot price dot value and now we need to make a variable for cash as well local cash equals player dot leader stats make to make sure to spell it right and then you do find the child in brackets you do speech marks and type in cash or whatever the currency is exactly as it is here now go down a few lines to make it look neat and you want to do script dot parent dot mouse from one click connect function I'll explain what all of this does later, all of this code that I'll do later. So now you'll do if cash is larger or equals to the price. So this, just change the value to the price, whatever you want it to be. I'll change it to five, start off with five. If cash is bigger, is if cash is larger or equal to price, then cash dot, make sure to put value, I forgot to put value. Cash dot value is larger than the price then the cash dot value minus equals the price then the cash dot value minus equals the price meaning if you have enough cash and you press on a button then your cash will be minus by the amount the walk speed upgrade costs so now we do cash dot now we do price this is only if you want it to multiply the price every time you buy it which some games don't do this some games have a walk speed a set price or not change if you want to do that leave this line you don't need it but if you want to add a multiplying or a addition to a, a price every time you buy it price equals price times two or whatever you want it to multiply by if i make it times two every time i buy it the price will multiply by two now for the actual walk speed part you want to do player dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed equals now just copy this bit right over here copy it Control c Control v now you just add in however much walk speed you want to add every single time you buy it i'm just going to do 10 to make it obvious and for you to be able to see that it actually changes now just go past these ends and do while wait do and enter and this is this is basically a loop we're gonna now add the actual text if you wouldn't make the text loop 
the text would stay the same forever so you want to do while wait do and then here you want to do local current or not not local sorry current i forgot we already have it written down here current and that's the walk speed we want to display on here equals this since we want the current current dot text to show up the walk speed so we just copy this put it in here and now we go down here and we want to do script dot parent dot text since the script dot parent dot text is this we want this to display the display the display the price if you want to make it different differently and add another box or another text label for this replace the script dot parent on here with something else dot text equals price and this is basically a string value meaning basically what text does if you do dot text it will display whatever it display or whatever you write in here and on here it will display a number since the walk speed this has a value a number value which is the player's walk speed and if we do this price it will display the price not the actual price it will just display the text price and now add a space in between here to not make it will cramp and you do dot dot and then here it will show the actual price so you do price and this basically shows i'll show you without this how it looks without this i take this away if i press play this displays the, the price and this displays the walk speed so actually what we want to do we want to give ourselves cash so down here go back to your leader stat script and do cash dot value and then however much you want to start off with i'm gonna do 1000 so i don't have to keep changing my money in different ways which is a bit harder and takes a bit longer so after i do this i look at my cash i have 1000 and if i press this my walk speed adds by 10 and my cash my the price doubles and now as you see i'm quicker and quicker now i'm gonna show you what happens if we put price in front of it in a string value and we do space and then we press play it should say price and then it will display the number value for the price here it says price five so now we're in over price and multiplies by two this adds by ten and then you can change this for example to if i make this a thousand and i press play every time i buy it my walk speed will be added by a thousand now i'm running running I press buy and my walk speed displays as a thousand i can keep adding onto this until i have no money left and if you guys did enjoy this video it and it did help you out Please consider subscribing and maybe watching some of my other tutorials. A few days ago I made a example of how to make a gear game pass. So whenever someone buys a game pass they unlock a gear or they get a gear into their backpack. Anyway, see you guys in a future video.